Now in this video, we are going to be looking at normal equation of regression analysis. If you are looking for normal equation, you want to derive normal equation of regression analysis, what you just have to do now is just to get the value of it. You get your deviation. Now, how do you get your deviation? <clears throat> that is, you need to look at the observed value and the uh, estimated value. You look at what I have on the board here. Look at what I have on the board here. And now this is the observed value that I've got. At. This is the observed value. Now from this observed value, I can make a line. I can just make a line. Okay, let me make a line like this. You see this line I've made, that is my regression line. That's my regression line. That's my regression line. So I can write as this estimated, it's also estimated uh, uh, value. That is the estimated value. And my estimated value, I can write it like this. This one, I put the sign of estimation here. This sign is estimation. And now, for instance, if I, like what I have here now, you can see that there is a point here that is a point here. This point is on the estimated, and this one is of that of observed. So the difference between this point and this point now is what we call deviation. It's what we call deviation. And now, when you say deviation, it means two things are involved. You have estimated and observed, and that is what we have here. Estimated and uh, estimated. Estimated equals observed minus, uh, sorry, deviation equals observed, observed point here minus estimated, minus estimated. That is, so this is why I do this to get our normal equation. Now, quickly now, because of time, let's open now. This is our deviation, we can write it as our observed y minus. So I write the value of the estimated here, I put it in brackets, put it in brackets, I'm going to be having v naught, uh, put the sign v one x. Yes, I put the sign also here. Then I can open the bracket here I'm using this sign, minus times plus. So I write again. I write again, minus, minus times plus again. It's going to give me minus. Then I put the sign back. Minus times plus again, minus. I put the sign back. Now, having understood this, at this point now, so what am I going to do at this point? You know, we are trying to derive a, a normal equation of regression uh, analysis. Now, what we just have to do is to square. We need to square and the sum the deviation. If we look at the deviation here, why are we squaring? We are squaring because we don't want to have zero as the answer between the observed and the deviation. That is when we say observed minus deviation, we, should, we don't want to have zero. So we want to make the value bigger. And you know when you square a value, like you square two, it's going to give you four. When you square a value, it's going to give you a bigger one. So that is what we are trying to do. We don't want it to be zero as our final answer. We don't want zero as our final answer. So when we square now, we square this deviation. When we square this deviation, we sum it. Sum and square the deviation. So, so when we like, that is what we have done here. And when we sum it now, it needs to reflect here in this e equation. Then I put it here back, then I put my y minus v naught. Then I bracket the square we also reflect here. Now having done this now, so what you just have to do is just to minimize. So you know why we want to minimize that is calculus. We need to differentiate that function with respect to any of the uh, determinants. So we will be taking V naught first. If you don't know how to do the differentiation, please go back to our video. You can sort uh, some some materials on differentiation. Here we are going to use function of function of function because of uh, the power we have here. Now, if you want to differentiate now, don't forget that when you are differentiating, you differentiate with respect to zero. We are trying to minimize, so we take the least square. We take the least square. Now, we, we squared all the deviations, but we are taking the least out of all the, the, the deviations. And when you are taking the least, it means we are minimizing it. That is where the name is, you know, is just a uh, least square method. Because we are taking the least of all the square uh, we need. Now, so taking the least now, we need to minimize it. That is, when we are minimizing it, we are going to say, uh, in this particular function here, change in deviation with respect to change in V naught, then that's going to be equal to zero. So having gotten this now, then we need to differentiate. If you differentiate this now, if you differentiate, we don't use, uh, we use called derivative. So if you use called derivative, uh, then we'll be having uh, two, this two will come here, summation, bracket again, then you write the whole of this here, you write it this way, so you don't write the square back, now 2 might be n minus 1, option this, so we have 2 here. Then you now differentiate the one we are differentiating with respect, this is b naught. So if you differentiate with minus b naught here, you will have times minus 1, minus 1. So everything will equal 0, because it equals 0 is there. Now having done this, now we can multiply this, minus 1 times 2 here will give us minus, minus 2. 
minus 2. So when you have minus 2, you have summation, you have y minus b naught minus b1, s, put the sign, put the sign, everything equals 0. To offshore this minus 2, you divide both sides by minus 2. If you divide both sides by minus 2, so the minus 2 will go away. The minus, I will never just, so the minus 2 will move away from here. The minus 2 will move away from here. So you are going to have 0 left. So that's what you have done to cancel out that uh, minus 2. Now, we have this left. So we can just use this to open the bracket. We just have a summation y minus this is going to be here now. Because it's, 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 uh, uh, this uh, constant value here. So this is constant value here. Then that is the intercept. It's going to be here. Then minus summation times this is going to give us v1 summation x equals 0. So we can equate this. We can now make this subject the formula now. Solution y equals this will give us uh, plus, right? That's going to give us plus. Please check very well. Is it, is it going to give us plus? Oh, since we have n here, we don't need to repeat the summation again. We don't need to repeat the summation again. So we are going to have just have our v plus b and minus when it comes to this side to the right will come plus. Then this one will come to this side will come uh, plus v summation x. Yes, that's the first first uh, uh, equation we need. That's the first equation, equation one. Let's quickly do equation two because of time. Equation two. So if we are doing, we are finding our equation two. We will now differentiate the tracer to be one now. So these are our value. We are using this value. Don't forget. We are using this value. We are using this value. Summation brackets y minus b not put the sign. Oh, let me write this. Let me write. Are using summation? Yes. Y B not put the sign. Put the sign. That's what we are doing. Now, then we differentiate now with respect to B one. Differentiate with respect to B one. B one. We equal it to zero. So when we equal it to zero, then the next thing we do, we take the we take the, the square is here, of course. So when we take the derivative now with respect to b1, so we are going to be having you know, the two become like the other before, two become here. So when it, these two come here, we have here, we have brackets, write the whole of this function bar, function bar, put the sign, don't forget. We have it back. Now, you know the pressure trace to be 1. That will, that, that will be times minus x. 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 So, don't forget it's going to be equal, equal 0. Now, this minus times minus 2 minus x. Yeah. Okay, let, let's make it uh, this minus, minus, this minus now. Minus times 2. Minus times 2 will give us minus 2. Minus 2, then x will give us minus 2, 2x. Bracket. The equation is still there, sorry. Minus x times 2 will give us minus 2x. Then put the sum back, open the bracket here, then write this one y minus b naught minus b1x bracket equals 0. Now, we, can, we want to eliminate minus 2 as we eliminated the 2 here. So, minus 2, minus 2. This will go away, this will go away. So, we are having left now. X summation, summation Y minus B naught minus B1 X equals, okay, close the bracket, equals 0. Now, we can say X now. When we say X, X times Y, X times Y, that will be summation Summation x times y will give us summation x y. Then summation x times this will give us minus summation. Look at that equation very well. Look at that equation very well. When you say that will be summation, this will be summation x summation or summation x times this will give you summation x y. Then for this one, we give you summation. Summation x times b will give us b. We write the b first. Summation x. 
Then the same thing here, plus times minus, of course, minus. Then this will give us summation, right? B. Then summation x. Now, times summation x will give us summation x squared. Please, do you understand it? Make it equal to zero. So, this one, we make this subject of the formula now. We are going to be having x, y. So, all of this will go to the, to the other side. We're going to be having b summation x. This will go with the b, b summation x squared. So, this will be equation 2. Now, we can, I can bring the equation 1 together now, which is summation y equals bn plus b1 summation x. Then, the equation 2 summation x y equals b summation x plus b summation x squared that's my equation so that is my normal normal equation normal equation from here now we can now go and you know derive least square estimate that will be in the next video least square estimate this if you want to get it now i must tell you the truth you need to try it from the beginning like four or five times by the time you try it four or five times on your own if you make mistake cancel it start all over you make mistake cancel it start all over you will definitely get it before you write your exam please subscribe and get more of our video